Have you ever heard of the photographic term high key photography? Well, by using this snow monkey photo, I'd like to explain to you what it is and how you can use it for your own photography. High key photography is all about emotion and we're talking about emotion of welcoming, of embrace, of lightness, of joy. And you usually find high key photography in genres such as wedding photography, of uh, children photography, of uh, newborn babies, all of these genres that require uh, a welcoming embrace, you're gonna find high key photography. And what that means is that the image in total is usually on the bright side. If you could think of middle gray as 50% of the picture where the, uh, the darker 50% is the lower and the upper 50% is brighter, high key photography would be on the brighter side. Now take a look at these snow monkeys. I would say that they are probably a little bit brighter than what we'd call middle gray or 50%. However, the background is completely white. And this is a good thing because we're wanting to establish a sense of warmth and embrace. And especially in this picture of the snow monkeys, it's definitely a family feel as the two kids are uh, with their mother. So one thing to keep in mind is that when we're dealing with high key photography, the last thing that we want to do is have proper exposure. Now, when I say that, of course, we always expose for the faces, but don't worry about any blown out highlights in the background. Let me give you an example. I'm gonna to go to what's called auto in Lightroom. And this is what auto gives us. It dramatically reduces the sort of high key, real warmth and welcoming of this picture. So I'm just going to say no to that because I don't like the way that Lightroom suggested for this picture. I want a purposely bright picture and this is really good for any situation where you want that warm embrace look. Now keep in mind that you usually want to have a brighter background than a foreground. So if you can manage that through any means in a studio, you'd use a white background. Uh, here, this was snow in the background. It was a mountainside full of snow. So it worked really well. All I needed to do was overexpose the picture. So for overexposing, you just go to your exposure compensation if you're an aperture priority or shutter priority and go to the plus side. That's it. I hope that makes sense and that you can use high key photography to really add a sense of warmth and a really light emotion to your pictures. If you found this useful, please share this with your friends. Until next time, happy photography, and I'll see you in the next video.